Hi, welcome to Peep7. Today I will show you how to download video, subtitle, and playlist from LinkedIn Learning Course. First time, I have to open up and launch Google Chrome. Next, navigate the browser to LinkedIn Learning website. Then remember, you have to log in using your individual account or library account. You already logged in. Next step, you can search for course, then select one. After you landing to the main course page, you can pause the video for a while. Next, open the new tab within your browser and navigate to LL Fetcher website. After web page loaded, then navigate to the release page. Scroll down and you can click Small Triangle Collapse Toggle button until you see the dot .zip link. Click this link to download zip archive release to your local computer. Once download complete, you can back to your file manager and see whatever the file downloaded successfully. Locate to your download folder and extract the zip file. You can see the dist folder inside your download folder. Next step, go back to Google Chrome browser. Then click Settings or three horizontal dot button on the upper right corner of the browser window. Once the menu item shown, choose Extensions, then choose Manage Extensions. You can see the new Chrome extensions table. Next, look at top right. You can see Developer Mode Switch button. Then you can switch on to activate Extensions Developer Mode. Next, move your cursor to the left. Click Load Unpacked button. Now, let's select the disk folder that you have extracted before. You see, new extensions are loaded. Go back to LinkedIn Learning Course page table, then refresh the page to load new installed extensions. You should see flashing black box for a moment. Indicate the extension loaded graphically. Next, go to upper right corner and click the puzzle icon. Once the menu shown, click the pin icon on the right side extension name to pin the extension button. Then you should see L pin button. Let's click on it. Once the pop-up shown, click fetch this course button. Once complete, you should see course ticket. Let's click small triangle button on top right of the course title. Wait until all the progress bar complete. Indicate course metadata has successfully loaded. Once complete, download button will got activated. So let's click on it. Now you have to set video quality or video format. After a couple of time, you should see three buttons and some download links. First, you need to click on playlist link, which end up with .m3u. You see, m3u file is being downloaded. Next, click download video and caption button, so download queue is being started. Be patient. Download in progress in remaining time according to your network speed. If you at very high speed network connection, probably you will get no problem on downloading. But if your network connection unstable, Sometimes your download will got interrupted. So if you encounter the problem like this, just click the extension pin button, then click again. Then just click the resume button. Click the unlock button first if resume button doesn't work. Click the reset button if you want to reset download queue. But remember this option will cause the download queue will reset and the download will start from the beginning of talk. Once complete, you will see 100%, then you can go back to your file manager again to check the results on your download folder. The final step is just download the helper shell script. This will manage the downloaded file results more structured. 
So let's go back to extension pop-up window again and click on Helper Bash if you're on Unix and Helper Canned if you're working on Windows. After downloading Helper Script, just open the terminal or command prompt. Change directory to download folder, then just run the helper script. As you can see, downloaded files are moved to a folder called Linked Learning, and you have the course name as folder name inside it. After that, just go to that folder and click the playlist file, or M3U file, with your favorite media player. Currently, I use VLC Media Player to automatically load the subtitle based on the video file I made. Okay, I hope you enjoy the learning process offline. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to help me grow. See you on the next episode. Bye.